What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Dave Cave. We are here right now, DL Collections, hanging out in the cave. I've been cleaning up a lot, moving things a lot, uh, kind of getting everything a little bit more situated in here. It's just that there's so many statues coming in. I've literally lost the room, um, unfortunately and fortunately. There are 28 on order. Uh, three of them are on their way. I'm very excited for them, especially one of them, which you guys seen a lot. It's the Venomized Batman. I will do a special review on that in a separate room with a white backdrop so you can see exactly why it is so important. But today I'm doing a mystery box type unboxing. Now, for those of you guys who do not know, I also sell a lot of toys. Now, no, this is not my main career and it is certainly not the career that would be able to fund half of what you see behind me and inside the cave. So I assure you that right now, it is not my full-time job, it's a hobby, but I do sell toys at my Macari site. Here's my Macari site right here. If you see anything in this particular episode, there is this and so much more, and that's why I'm bringing it to the DL Collections page out here on YouTube, because I want to show you guys a little bit more of what I do and get you guys a little more of my world, just so you know that I'm just not a statue guy and or a Power Ranger guy. So in this big old box, I actually open up one of the boxes, I get a couple of these boxes in. Um, these particular first ones were not mystery boxes. They were actually things I purchased in a lot sale. Now, for those of you guys who are looking to try to make some extra cash and maybe extra extra money, uh, like I said, if you're looking for statues out of this money, you probably won't get it. But it is always very cool to get a couple extra bucks when you sell some maybe toys that people haven't seen since the early 90s, the 80s, even early 2000s, and they really want to get their hands on them. So I personally do that. I get a kick out of it. And this is a really hard thing to find because I can't find them anymore. But this is a Primal Rage action figure. Guys, listen to me. Listen to me. Arguably one of the best video games of all time, Primal Rage. This game was friggin' awesome. Uh, they are basically these prehistoric animals or dinosaurs or whatever the hell they are. And I think it's, it says on the back, it was a dinosaur, an ape, uh, a big raptor, a big triceratops. And you would fight as them. Cool. It was awesome. I managed to get this one. The box is a little crappy, but mint in box, the skull, unfortunately, you can see it rolling around right there, did fall off the place in it, but this is brand new. Uh, something very cool. I put it up a little higher in my Macari store because I actually don't want to sell it because I want to keep it for my PC. But yeah, PC personal collection, by the way, in case I didn't say that. But very cool piece. I did put it on the Macari store, but that's what that is. Now, the moment I've been talking about for the past seven minutes, guys, is in this box, pre-opened, is in fact a mystery box with a whole bunch of mystery goodies in it um oh and by the way i bought this too it was really cool g-force godzilla figure i got a really good deal on it very stoked about that um now i did pay quite some money for this mystery box i paid about 530 dollars i think for it um the value in it is over a thousand as per what i'm told so i could either get screwed or i could be in the money we're gonna guess on some of these things and gatman is sitting india style high as a kite right now so I'm actually going to have him look up some of the items as they come up, and we'll figure out if the prices are actually good and if I got screwed up on this or if I didn't. So let's take the ride, all right? So this particular seller is actually a really cool person. They've always done right by me on other sales and stuff, but this box is packed the hell out. And, oh, I don't even know if I want to open up the first part of this for Gatman because I think he's going to lose his noodle. Um, but let's let's make oh, him flip out a little bit. So, Gat, if you could pull up your phone. So, Gat's got his phone ready to go. This first piece, and I already, I already hear the cringe in his voice. Now, if you, don't, if you didn't see in the last Boba Fett video, Gatman is a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan. And the first one on here is the Black Series C-3PO. The card is mint. Um, something like this sells for, what do you think, Gatty? Looking it up. While Gaddy's looking that up, I'm gonna go for the next fig. Um, $24.99. $24.99 is what it sells for right now, and I know that we have a, we have a $500 budget. So even if it's sold for $20, it's still worth it. So Black Series C-3PO sells for $24.99. So we've already cut our budget from $500 to $475. It does, it does vary on different websites. It varies on different websites. Yeah, Apple's from, so. from like 15 bucks to 25. So if we say 20 bucks, we take $20 off the $500 number, and where are we at? $480. This, though, is really cool. I'm, I'm probably going to keep this one. This is a Anakin Skywalker. Very mint card. It is made by Hasbro. It is part of their... Is this the 4-inch line, Gats? Yeah. 
This is badass, dude. Yeah, this is badass. Anakin Skywalker. So while Gatman's looking up that, we're going to keep moving so that you don't waste all, everyone's time on this. This is a really good box. I actually, I did know he put some Star Wars already inside of it. Uh, I didn't know how much Star Wars was in it. Oh my god, this next one's going to make Gatman fight me. Um, what is, how much is it for the Anakin? I'm looking, I'm looking. Man, you're very slow with this. I thought you'd be a little more uh, speedy. I had, there's so many different ones. All right, all right. Well, while Gatman is doing this, I'm going to drop this bomb on him. 24 $24 for the Anakin? Yeah. Well, that that's pretty good because I know for a fact that, you know, I, I if that's, let's say it's $20 again, now we're down to 460 This is awesome. Yeah, Black Series Sith. This is a Black Series Sith Jet Trooper. Jet Trooper. Um, the Black Series line is very cool. And I know a lot of these pe pieces people are really into. And I see why. Because they're very detail-orientated. 30 bucks. Um, it sells for $30. So if we call $20 again, we're down to 460 So we're doing good. We're three pieces in. And guys, look, the bottom line is this. And I know a lot of people who watch this are going to talk shit and be like, well, if you don't sell, you don't make any money. Yeah, you're right, dickhead. I know that already. But here we are. <laughs> this is what you pay to be in these kinds of hobbies. So if I break even, great. If I lose money, and eh, not the end of the world. But I know I'm $60 down for my original $500 budget. Also, the shipping and handling wasn't that, so it was $545. But I'm not counting the shipping and handling. It is what it is. Um, this next piece... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this next piece is, in fact, Boba Fett. Also in my room. And it's part of the Black Series Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett not as much as Gatman does. Right, Gat? No one does. No one does. Um, but this is a really, really, really nice, clean piece. And I think that this piece has nothing to do with Boba Fett. But it's another... It's yeah, a, it's, unfortunately, it's only $4, so I'll give you 5 to call it <laughs> So what does it sell for? 25 On eBay, it's going for 25 All right, so again, chalk up 20 bucks. If it sells for $20, now we're down to 440 for the Boba Fett. Um, this one, though, Gat, I know that you're not really fond of this guy, but uh, Lando Calrissian, another one, part of the Black Series. Black Series has two different boxes. I really don't That's know much Kenner. about it. That's Kenner. What? Look at the front. Kenner. No, no. So, okay. Very important that he po point this out. So, Kenner was the original maker of these action figures. And when Hasbro acquired the line and they remade them to look like the old figures, that is, in fact, why it says Kenner on the front. But on the back, the actual producer of the remake is, in fact, Hasbro. So, just to give you guys a little insight on this. So, when Hasbro made these, they kind of brought back the old style look. Now, this is a lot bigger than the original figure, but it's still very, very, very cool. Is that six inch? Uh, Lando, six inch, Lando Calrissian, uh, Star Wars back series. It's got a bend in the card. Now, guys, for those of you who do not buy action figures, these bends in the action figure in figures, they sometimes hurt them, they sometimes don't. You got to kind of play devil's advocate with them. Uh, is that what it's selling for? Yeah. So it's selling for $18, called 10 bucks. We're now down to, what are we at? Four, 430 now. We're at 430 and I don't, I'm, I'm one of those people, guys, that I'll sit on this stuff for quite some time because I'm not really too worried about if it sells or not because I don't look at money as an option like that. As arrogant as that sounds, I do apologize. Riley, you know what happened last time you went over there. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Didn't know this was going to be here. And I actually knew he had this. And I don't think it's really worth a lot of money. But I'm really excited because I'm probably going to keep it for my personal collection. No, I'm not. I'm going to bundle it in Macari because I have... Actually, other ones. But I'm probably going to hold it for, for a little while. Because I saw him have this in his collection. He knew I was eyeing it because I really did appreciate these toys back when I was a kid. But this is mint, by the way. This is a very mint piece. It is, in fact, brand new, never opened. This is a mint Ellie Sattler Jurassic Park action figure from the original Jurassic Park. And to be quite honest with you... This is freaking awesome. Ellie Sattler. Ellie Sattler, Jurassic Park with the firing grip. This right here is very cool. Dad, didn't I have another box with, where's that other box of bubbles? Oh, 
All right, guys, so sorry I jumped out for that quick second, but I wanted to show you guys this. Now, I was saying before, uh, actually, Gatman walked out of the room to find me a box that I actually ended up knew where it was. So these are actually two pieces that are coming up that I purchased. More for my childhood, and I, I paid retail for them. This Ellie, part of the mystery box, it actually sells for $60. I think I could get the $60 for it, but I'm going to lowball and say I'd get $50 for it. So we were at $430. We finally tipped the scale. We are now at $380. So $380. But I wanted to take a quick break from the mystery box to show you guys this piece. Now, I again, I paid full retail for it, but it was actually more nostalgic for my childhood because it was the first Jurassic Park toy that I had ever gotten. And I did, it's funny because I'm looking at the KB, the toys, it was two for $5 at one point. So this is my first one and, oh God, I'm gonna have to do some surgery with a sticker. I hate people put stickers on these things, man. It's like so brutal. Is, yeah. Actually, this came off really nicely. But this is my first ever Jurassic Park I ever had when I was a kid. It's a pterodactyl, the pterodon. Uh, really like flimsy, crappy p toy. I still have it, believe it or not. I have it. Uh, I saved all my Jurassic Parks when I was a kid, but this is my first one. And then ironically, the guy who was selling them, again, I, I paid full retail and I'll openly admit it, but it was going in my personal collection. Um, full retail on the Pterodon was $60. And this one is actually a little under retail. It's probably sells for about 75, especially in the condition that I got it in. Um, I paid 50 for it. Again, sells for 75. So if I ever did want to sell it, and only years to come would be worth more, was this Dimetrodon. So I'm not going to sell these. Ellie, I'll probably put up on my Macari site. Again, here's the Macari. So if you are looking to find Ellie and some other Jurassic Park pieces, it will be on there. But I probably won't budge on the price. So it's probably going to stay for the price that it is because Macari does have a lot of fees. Oh, this is tight. The box is shipped, but this is tight. So Gatman, are you ready? So studio, studio Series Soundwave from the Bumblebee movie. What was really dope about this figure is that Michael Bay destroyed Transformers. Although I enjoyed the films, I'm not gonna say I I liked them, they weren't great. He destroyed the Dinobots, he destroyed Soundwave, he butchered Megatron, Optimus Prime, he did, I thought he did a great job on. But Soundwave, he ruined so badly, it pissed me off. This is what Soundwave looks like and he did it in the Bumblebee movie. That's what he looks like. And this is an awesome piece. The problem, the box is really catted up. Now, some Transformer fans, that won't bo bother them. So they'll probably pay for it. Uh, what, are they, what are we asking for on this? At Walmart, it's 40 bucks. Brand, it's, but it's a... Brand new. Are you sure this is a Walmart one though? This is 2022. Oh, it's 2022, it's the Hasbro. Yeah. So because of the damage on it, I probably only get $25 for it. And that's why I would put it on for um, one of my sites like Macari. So... We're down to uh, 365 on our list. And again, I know for those of you people out there that want to bitch and moan, I totally understand that what I'm doing is guesstimating. So there is a very good chance that I will not make my money back. The next piece, I actually wanted to keep this. I, I just saw it. I said I would sell it, but now I, I think I'm going to open it up. It is part of the Gundam universe. So Gundam universe, it is Gundam Barbados. Very cool little piece, Gundam Barbados. Um, these are part of a line that I believe Target has. Yes, it's, it's the Bandai Namco line. Blue, uh, distributed by Bluefin. Um, the Bandai, you said? Yeah, it's uh, Bandai Gundam Barbados. Um, Gundam Universe, yeah. Uh, I think these sell for like 20 bucks. I don't think they're... 25 right. on Amazon. 25, so I uh, figure 20 bucks. Again, so we're just going to keep chopping down the line. Um me, personally, I put the things up for what they say on the other websites, and then I just reduce it from there. If it's on Amazon, it's free shipping a lot of times. So $25, I put it up for $20. Uh, we're down to $345. Okay. So we haven't really made a significant hit yet, and I'm kind of getting nervous because, well, you know. Oh, another Gundam. This is... Oh, I'm keeping this one 100%. This one's way more badass. This is called Gundam Unicorn. It's called Unicorn Gundam... Zero Two Banshee. Um, I don't know much about Gundam like this. I was a Power Rangers guy, clearly. But Gundam, Bandai, Namco, I don't know, Gat, what are we looking on this? 
Oh, remember the Death Scythe. If I had a Death Scythe in that box, I would keep the Death Scythe, Scythe easily. On Amazon? Oh, wait, is it a Bandai? It's a it's a Bandai Namco. RX. RX-O Unicorn Gundam. At Band Walmart, it is $71. Oh. Well, that changes the tides, because we were just at, what were we at? We were at 365? Or oh, 345. Let me just correct, make sure. O2. Bandai Gundam Universe RX-0 Unicorn Gundam O2 Banshee GU-05 action figure. Yeah. Seventy-one twenty-nine. Seventy-one twenty-nine. This changes the tides because we were at three forty-five, right? I believe so. Yeah. So three forty-five. I wouldn't sell it for seventy. I'd probably put it up for fifty. So fifty bucks, three forty-five. We're now down to two ninety-five, two eighty-five. So I probably screwed up that math. If I screwed up the math. Correct me in the comments. Two eighty-five. This this changes the tides. So as long as we have two eighty-five in this box, I didn't get screwed. But. Making a profit would be nice. Um, this guy that so many spots knows I'm a Transformers fan, and I know this bastard didn't want me to sell some of this stuff, so that's kind of messed up. I see a Transformer, I'm gonna skip it to something that's probably not worth anything, but definitely to me. It is a Halo action figure. So it's a um, Halo Spartan MKV. This is the white Spartan from the Spartan collection. Um, it's got the rifle, the plasma pistol, the additional hands. This is a really dope line. Now, I know that Hasbro screwed up by taking away the viewing glass, but the companies that kept it, good for you. I'm all about saving the oceans and saving the planet and everything like that. But something about having these plastic viewing screens is really important, especially when it comes to buying action figures. Now, I don't know what something like this sells for. On Amazon, you got $44. Okay, didn't expect that. So I would probably, if it sells for 44. There's also a 44% discount on that. The list price is $80. Oh, so it sells for, really? It's on, it's on, there's a discount right now. So here's an interesting fact. What Gatney was just saying was, it's actually $80 on Amazon. Now, if you go into other sites in Macari and Google, I Google everything. Yeah, I'm a Google what, guy. I'm on Google, I'm on Google. So I'm, on, so I'm a Google guy. So. For me, I don't believe the $80 thing. I don't think people would buy it for that. But for $40, I think somebody would pay that. So because there's that $80 range and people can, you know, bid and ask for different prices. All right, on eBay, I got 30 bucks. 30 bucks. So I'm going to put it at 25 because I think there's a large range on that. If eBay has it, people are going to look at eBay and they're going to be like, okay, I'll buy it. So for $25, I'm going to put that on there for it. So now we bring the total down to 260 Expensive Gundams. But we do have a big box still ahead of us. So, Masters of the Universe, Catman. Oh, I think she's such a babe in the cartoon. I don't really care. I'm not a cartoon anti guy, but uh, Evil Lynn, Masters of the Universe um, series. So, Evil Lynn, in this particular series, it was like kind of like the revamp of, um, of the Masters of the Universe and He-Man and all them. She's a hottie in this in this one. I don't know if anybody's peeped this, but it was a really good show. It was like a cartoon. Um, it was a different look for her. They made her more badass. She turns into like a super sorceress. Yeah, you can see like she's got the white hair version of it. I can't see anything for like it being more than 20 bucks. Anywhere in between 15 to 25. So let's just talk up 10 bucks. 10 bucks is yeah. a fair number. So we're going to bring our, our total down to 270. 10 bucks on that. Now again, guys, I'll put these things on Macari for... Maybe five dollars more than we're saying now, but you have room where people can like choose to pay less, and that's totally okay. I think. Oh gat man! Oh gat man! Not yet. We'll wait for that one. Can't do that to me. All right, gat man, we this one. <gasps> is this one of your favorites, gas? Scout trooper. So a scout trooper. This is the uh, the little four inch by Hasbro. A little bit of damage. Now, guys, I'm going to say something to you. Whenever you sell anything on any of these stores or anything like that, um, the damage is very important to show people. I think just being honest and, you know, people who are fans like that, man, uh, it's, you know, some of these guys want their stuff mint. And although the card is decent, a little bit of bend at the top, this this thing right here is a wicked little hit. Uh, it's just a scout trooper, Gat. It is the um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fallen Order, so I really enjoy these Scout Troopers too, but I know Gatman's a big fan of the Scout Trooper. What are we thinking, Gat? Oh, what do we got on that one, Gat? Because I'm about to drop firing in the next one. 
Uh, I think we're actually getting close to the end of this. Uh, Fallen Jedi? Fallen Jedi. Do we have a number? There are people that are really obsessed with Star Wars. I'm particularly not. I just like Boba Fett, Chewie, and uh, Yoda. But 16 bucks. 16 bucks. So this could sell for $10 all day. Brings our total to $255. I think our math is all over, but we're close enough. We had $265 last. Were we? Okay. I took $10 off. Okay. This one is dope. From the Mandalorian Boba Fett. Now... You might, you may not. Again, we have a damaged corner, but not as bad as the last. The card is in great condition. Uh, it says Morak. Boba Morak. Fett, Morak. Yeah. So what I really like about this series, and because I am a Boba Fett fan, I would probably keep this one just because it's just something to have. I think it's cool for the collection. Unless it had a little bit of value to it. There are people who are super diehard over these. So unless the number was right, I'd probably just put them on Macari, but I just wouldn't sell it because I would keep it on my PC. And I think that's okay, guys. I think that if you guys do sell on eBay or Macari or Amazon or wherever you guys sell your stuff at, it is totally okay to not sell what you have. If you like it, if you're passionate about it, freaking keep it. What do we got, Gat? 30 bucks. 30 bucks, I would probably put it up on sale. So uh, I would put it up for 20 or 25, but... Because I like it, I probably put it at 25. There's probably somebody who wouldn't buy it at 25. Um, but that would bring our total down to 230. And we still have stuff to go, Gatman. So this one I think you're going to be really excited about because I just think it's really cute looking. But a Star Wars droid pack. Uh, now, this little droid pack here is basically very cartoony. It says, Gatman, yeah, it says the Galaxy, Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures. And it's called the, well, just R2-D2, BB-8, and um, Dio. I don't know who Dio is. I guess Dio's the new guy from the new movie, right? So, believe it or not, and I maybe not this particular part, but I know a lot of times these kid versions of things do sell for a lot of money, and I don't know exactly why. Um, it has a little damage on the box, nothing to write home about, but... It is a three-pack. Galaxy of Adventures, you said? Yeah, Galaxy of Adventures. Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures. It, but it does come with three droids. They all pull back and roll. Even the Dio, he pulls back and he launches. R2-D2 launches. BB-8 does nothing because obviously he's a sphere and can't do that. Anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks. So we're going to stick a 10 bucks in this one. So we'll bring our total down from 250 uh, because we did that 50. We did that. We had 225. I don't remember where we're at. I think we're at 215. No. After this is two, oh, after this we're at two, two we're two fifteen, right? Okay. So now we are at two fifteen. I put up for ten bucks, and I, you know, it's one of those things. Honestly, a lot of times whenever I sell things for good prices on Macari, I throw a little extra in. I might throw that in for a little extra. I don't know, but I would still put it up for fifteen bucks and see what happens with it. So there's a really big piece in here. Oh my god, this is awesome. This, yo, I just saw it. You happy? I'm keeping it. 100%. Only because I have the villain that matches this. I'm keeping it. Okay. I actually have the villain of the same exact series of this, but the Incredible Hulk. These are arguably the best action figures ever made. I don't care what anybody says. This, it's a Marvel Select Incredible Hulk. There are three versions of it. It comes with the Red Hulk, the Ultimate Hulk, which is the Gray Hulk, and it comes with the Green Hulk. Now, I don't really like this particular face on him, but I just so happen to have the abomination of it. So if you can get a close-up, that ring is so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I I just think this is just, this these action figures, they've got a lot of weight to them. They've got a lot of detail. These are freaking cool. What is this one selling for, guys? 55. Selling 55 bucks. This could, this could put us into where we need to be. Listen, I'm going to put up my card for 50 bucks only because I love it. So we were at 215 now we're at 265, uh, 165 So 165 we're getting close to breaking even, but will we break even? I don't know, and I'm actually kind of nervous about that because we are looking at the bottom of the box, and I do see a lot of Star Wars stuff. <laughs> so how about this one, Gatman? This is a Black Series... The Empire Strikes Back, Rebel Trooper Hoth. Uh, also, adding to the list... Oh, look at this. Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Luke Skywalker, and the Snowspeeder. 
Star Wars, guys, is just one of those things that people cannot get enough of. But we are at $165 right now. All right, Hoth Trooper, you got 20 bucks. Okay, and I put it up for 20 bucks because it's Star Wars. And hold on, I gotta find Luke. So 160, I would put that up for $20 because I think it's $20 all day. Um, the Luke Skywalker one's probably 15 bucks. Believe it or not, sometimes the, the off character is not as good as the main character. But I would put it up for 20 bucks because I don't care if I sell it or not. It's a good filler item for my shop. Um, but it'd probably sell for 15, so we are at 165. I'm gonna say we're at 150 right now. We'll see what Luke Skywalker does for us. Come on, 20 Luke. bucks. 20 bucks on Luke, and I would leave that at 20 bucks because it is Luke. So we were at 150, we're now at 130. I do not see us breaking. Oh Jesus. I, I think we're just going to break even on this one, Gat. And that sucks. That sucks. That's a shitty feeling. Um, there's a lot left, though. Let's see. So this is a... Yeah, this is another Star Wars thing. Looks like a Millennium Falcon of the sort. Looks like a Millennium Falcon. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, this is dope. Micro Galaxy Squadron, okay? Micro Galaxy Scott Squadron, the Millennium Falcon. I think this is a very new toy, actually. I don't think it's, I think it only sells for like $30. I don't think it's a big money toy. Um, micro Machines, if you guys are familiar with Micro Machines, it's the same exact thing. 20 bucks. It sells for $20. I put it up for $20 because I kind of like it. So uh, we were at one, with Luke, we're at 130. So now we're at 110. Um, will it sell? Maybe, maybe not, but. 20 bucks, I think that's worth it all day. Next up. Oh, I actually got this. I, I I got something like this for you at a store and it hadn't come in yet, but it's not this one. So this is another one of those like kitty kitty ones. This is a uh, Disney Star Wars Mission Fleet, and this is the Moff Gideon. Okay. I actually bought Gatman one of these, it just hasn't come in the mail yet. Um these are the kid versions of things. And although I think that when I was a childhood, my Star Wars were way more badass, the thing that sucks about this is the box is actually open. Now, it's brand new inside, but the box is opened. Um, ten bucks. So it sells for ten bucks. I'd probably just give it as a filler item. I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even take money on it right now. So not not really worth it. Whatever. It's, that sucks. Oh, wait. There's actually a good amount of stuff still left in here. Oh, very cool. Jurassic Park Mini Ian Malcolm. I think this is cool. Wait a second, there's something else in the bottom. Oh no, that's not that's not the bottom. Yeah, mini mini Ian Malcolm, man. This is very cool. What it says a collection on the front. Uh Hammond collection. So, like I was saying about the Jurassic Park stuff, they remade all the Jurassic Park characters in like some of these minifigures and some of the other five-inch figures as well, like you saw with the Ellie one. Um, these mini versions of them, I'm not a big fan of them, but I do think they're very cool. Sadly, though, this one has a wicked crease on the back of it, which would deter it from being a sale thing. I'm, I'm assuming it sells for like 10 bucks, and I probably would keep it up for that. Five to 15. Five to, I would put it up for $10 and take seven or eight for it, I really would. Um, which leads us to our next part, which we would be at, would be $5 in the other Star Wars thing. Did I miss a whole thing of hair in my head? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, I would just, I would probably sell for set for 10 bucks and just hope for the best on it. So that brings us to our total of 105. And to be honest with you, I don't think we're getting there. I don't think there's any money in this this box. Um, I am a little upset. We're going to keep going, but there is. All right, we're going to take a little commercial break. I know these videos, this video is extremely long. Um, all right, so I see a couple pieces left. I'm going to go with the one that I think is worth like literally nothing. It's a big one. Yeah, this, is, this can't be worth much. It's very stupid. <laughs> but um, it's a Master of the Universe piece. It's actually probably my favorite character from, from the Revelation. So, Gatman, Masters of the Universe, Revelations, Battle Cat. The remake on these figures is so cool. Um, sadly, though, I don't think it's worth a lot of money. Um, it was reproduced by Mattel. It looks like it's brand new. Yeah, the box is a little juicy in the back, but nothing crazy. But... It is, it is part of, you know, the um, He-Man series. And it's, uh, you know, this is cool. 
This is cool. It's something I would play with as a kid, but alas, I don't think it's worth a lot of money. I think it's maybe 10 bucks. Okay, so on, see, on eBay, it's 10. Okay. Amazon, 22. Okay. Walmart, 34. And Mattel Creations, 40. So it ranges from like $10 up to $44. Was the $10 one brand new though? $10 one was... Because if it's used, that's it. eBay. So it was used though. You yes. Just said, oh, yes. so it was used. So then this is $20, which means we are at the $25 mark. So you could sell this for probably 25 bucks. So that's decent. Okay. There's a couple pieces of it. Oh, wow. There's a lot more left. Okay. Uh, well, this next one is another Halo piece. And I love me some Halo. I don't know what the hell it is, though. But, oh, wow. Oh, very cool. Halo pieces are very weird. I've had a couple that sold for a lot of money. I, I sold one for like 500 bucks. I recently put one on, on the Dave Cave a statue that I had. So this is the um, Halo, New World of Halo scale. Got it, man. Uh, from Halo Infamous. Say that one more time. Okay. So search, this box is super catted. Um, well, it's actually not. It was just that one little piece. But it is brand new, but the front is really nasty. So Halo, Halo uh, type in Halo Infinite, and then type in Spartan MKV, and Jega, like Sega, but with a J, and then type in R-D-O-M-N-A-I, and that's the action figure right there. Sorry, I didn't spring around fast there. I don't know, man. Halo action figures have, like, this weird place in... A weird group of people who buy them. Not you're not weird if you buy them, but like it's a weird area for where they sell for. So we're at twenty five bucks to break even. What are we looking like at? eBay forty bucks. eBay forty bucks. I Walmart forty four. Okay, so I would do it for thirty or thirty five. So I'll do it at thirty five, which brings us over our, our break even of ten dollars. So we're currently profiting ten dollars. Huh? Sick. I can mix the box. <laughs> Mystery box is fucking suck. Anyway. I did notice these little these little ditties right here, and um, we're gonna go through each one because I don't know what they are. So, oh, this is sick, yo! This is crazy. I'm gonna keep this one out because the last thing I'm gonna show you guys represents this. So this is the R dot E dot D dot uh, R dot E dot Red Red Transformers Ultra Magnus. This line, guys, is awesome now if you don't if you aren't familiar with this line some of these they actually have metal parts and some of them are fully metal i know the optus prime and the megatron one are i don't know about this ultra magnus one but it's got a lot of change outs too and i love the box i think this is such a badass piece walmart 40 bucks walmart 40 bucks guys i would sell for 30 dollars. oh god my phone just froze so walmart selling this for 40 dollars. i would probably put it up on my page for 30 dollars just to get the sale on it so, which brings us to a profit of um, $40. We're profiting $40 so far. All right, the next piece is, oh, this is dope too. Another red one. This is the performing, uh, reformating Megatron. Yo, this is tight, okay? Again, red series. Pieces on the side with the, you know, he's got that little laser ball thing. Someone's going to crack me like, it's not a laser ball. It's a Mason Windu thing in above that convert. Shut up. Um, this is a really 25. tight figure. I'd probably keep I put it up for 20 So we're at $65 in, in profit. Got a little hang tag. And you have a couple more of these? Uh, I do. I have one more of these. Oh, actually, no. It's just, it's two of those Megatrons. So okay. we're, uh, we're at, uh, we're at, six, we're at 65 we are now at $85, so $85 in a potential profit. Guys, again, the word here is potential, which means that I probably won't make the profit on it. But there was a reason why I left this Ultra Magnus here, because I noticed in the box that there was, in fact, another piece, a very awesome piece, a Siege... War of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. I couldn't... Listen, if any piece puts me over the top, it would be this Ultra Magnus. I could see it selling for much more money than what it is. But what's really cool about it is, and if I'm reading it, 
I'm not reading it correctly. I'm lying. Is it? Does it do it? I think it does. It does. Okay. How much are we looking on this, Gat? Because this is the thing that, to break us over the top. Oh. Now, what's really cool about this piece is if you buy the white, um, I think it's a white version of Ultra Magnets. I don't know who that character is if you're a Transformers fan. They combine to make a, a big ship. But this particular piece, I actually kind of want to keep it. But this is kind of the piece I would think would break me over. 55 55 bucks. I put up for $45. So we basically are making around $100 on it, which fucking sucks. Listen, it's not a complete loss. Oh, plus shipping. So I'm only going to make it $60 on this whole thing. This is a very bad investment. And I don't even want to continue this video anymore because I'm so pissed. Whatever, though. It doesn't matter. Listen, guys, at the end of the day, uh, you take some gambles, you take some risks, you win some, you lose some. You can't cry for spilt milk. In this particular case, I'll probably profit after the smoke clears, maybe 50 bucks. Um, it's just inventory. It really isn't a win. It's really not a, a, a win at all. But, dang, that sucks. Eh, anyway, listen, guys, there's worse things that could happen in life. And unfortunately, this one's just toys. So I'm not that really upset about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to see Gatman's eyeing me for one of these. <laughs> Gatman's eyeing me for a couple of the couple of figures. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any like and subscribe, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And then don't forget to check out this right here. This is my Macari page. If you guys liked any of the items that you saw today, please check it out. Feel free to send me an offer if you're interested. I'd be more than happy to make a deal with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this version of DL Collections. A little bit different from our normal. But I hope to see you guys again. And this is a really long video. So listen, guys, have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we'll see you on the next one.